One of perhaps the last big names got into Montana's 2020 governor's race today, Democratic Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney. Cooney launched his campaign in his hometown of Butte, and MTN's Mike Dennison was there. He files this report from the Mining City. Cooney got things underway Wednesday in front of a vocal hometown crowd, talking about the Montana he grew up in and that he wants to preserve and protect. Lending a helping hand, shoveling your neighbor's sidewalk, pulling a stranger out of a snowbank, or that little wave on a country road as you're driving your pickup truck or car down that little dirt road. The veteran Democrat said that means protecting public education, access to health care, preserving Montana's environment and public lands, and fighting against what he called special corporate interests. And it's exactly why I am running for governor, to put Montana's health care, education, jobs, public lands first, while putting special interests with their dark money and their narrow agendas in their place. Cooney is the most prominent Democrat to step into the 2020 governor's race, but he's not the only one. House Minority Leader Casey Schreiner of Great Falls is running, and so is former state lawmaker Riley Neal of Livingston. A trio of prominent Republicans also are vying for the seat the GOP hasn't held for 16 years. Attorney General Tim Fox, U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte, and State Senator Al Osheski of Kalispell. All three of them have run statewide campaigns before and won a few. Cooney says he's ready to take on whichever one of them is the nominee. Well, we're going to be talking about things that I don't think the Republicans are really going to want to address. I talked about health care uh, and prescription drug costs. We're going to be talking about how to continue to protect our public education money. Those are a lot of things that I think of the opposition doesn't want to talk about. And if they talk about it, they don't have a plan. We have a plan. Cooney said he'll be fleshing out that plan as the campaign unfolds, including worker training, apprenticeships, and more access to education and economic opportunity. This will be Mike Cooney's sixth statewide campaign, and he's lost only once, when he ran for governor before in 2000. He's hoping the second time will be the charm. Reporting from Butte, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Governor Steve Bullock can't run for a third term next year because of term limits.